<laughs> so it'd be maybe, interesting to see what he wants to bring out. Yeah, maybe another day I would have uh, I would have agreed that like Twinden could maybe try another character, but after yesterday, I'd be very surprised <laughs> if uh, if he wasn't pulling out the Ryu. I, I think he he learned his lesson that the Sephiroth just isn't ready for bracket yet. It needs to go. Not it ready needs to go yet. Back to the lab. Back to the training room. Back to the lab again. <laughs> <laughs> oh wait, I, I hope that's not copyright. <laughs> oh, oh no. <laughs> You're I'm sorry, Gimmer. Take it down. D Gimmer, I'm sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I, I'm definitely expecting a Diddy Ryu. Diddy seems like it'd be a, a pretty decent matchup against Ryu. One thing that I, I don't know how much it'll come up, but I'm just saying it uh, in advance because I have like a similar thing whenever I play against Blandon since I also have a throwable item for Jet Dial. It can be really annoying whenever... Ryu or the one of the Shodos is like mashing down tilt like kind of far away or like at a mid range and if you throw a projectile since they're mashing that down tilt so much they can actually catch the they can catch the projectile and it keep down tilting and like they they caught it so they don't have to shield it, the light incoming so I'm wondering if we're gonna maybe see that come up and blend and like accidentally catch one of Jordan's uh, banana throws or something because I, I know from experience that can be really annoying. Yeah, Diddy is just a very like slick and like really ca uh, tricky character to, to try and catch and play around with. And so far, it looks like we're starting on small battlefield here. Interesting choice, but you know what? I think it's a good choice because you never want to bring Diddy, honestly. Oh. Ooh, what's this? What we got? We got banana oh. combos? When did he, he is definitely a... Uh, Maybe not with uh, Sephiroth, but I've definitely seen him on Twitter hitting the, the lab combos. Yep. Oh, and then that triple up there in the Shoryu, just a little bit more percent when he sealed it. Yeah, it looks like Re Wandon almost carried uh, Jordan to heaven there with that ladder combo. <laughs> yeah, he was, but he that was just excellent DI coming from Jordan. Absolutely. He definitely took a, a page out of Mario's notebook for that yeah. one. But it, it's much scarier with Ryu, I think, just because of how much more damage and earlier it can kill if you get the right, uh, like, input version. And here you go. This is, like, what we're talking about, where, uh, yep. or what I was talking about, where Blandon is, like, jumping in. That was a great banana. Ooh, that but, was a really good banana. Banana but, like, up you, smash. You can see Blandon jumping in with a safe nair and then doing down tilts immediately, and Trainer Jordan is kind of just having to respect it, because even though he has banana, he can't, if he knows he, he knows if he throws it, he's just going to catch it, and uh, and then he'll, he won't have banana with for it. And there we go with Blandon taking uh, Jordan's first stock with that uh, Tatsumakin, I believe, or Tatsumaki Kukin, uh, uh, however it's pronounced, my mistake. It, it, looked like a, it looked like a little bit of bad DI from Jordan's yeah, part. Yeah, it was a little bit of bad DI. I definitely do believe he can live that tier, but right now we're back onto it, resetting the neutral. Banana and uh, I don't remember what that... I, I just call it Fireball. Yeah, I, the Fireball I, coming out. <laughs> This fireball is also... Alright, so, uh, you know, EX Hadouken, that's pra practically what it is. <laughs> this banana is proving, banana uh, is showing to be, like, really difficult for Brandon to deal with. It's, it keeps, like, dropping it. Oh, Ooh, that was shield that, break. That would have been a good shield break. Uh, but that was just really good timing from uh, Jordan to, like, just, like, roll and avoid it. I mean, taking the hit, I mean... Taking a hit is never a bad thing, and that was especially just good for him to at least get out of that situation, but a little too late for that, and now Jordan is yeah. just, now a stock behind. Didn't Ooh. even need the, the up B from that up there, just raw killing with the up Yeah. Air. Right now, Brandon already got the ban banana back in his hand again. Monkey flips to ignore the Hadouken. Brandon carrying on the combo. Just monkey flipping right into his foot, yep. down tilting. Uh, Jordan definitely needs to try to take this stock yeah. as quickly as he can because it start he was hit doing so good keeping it even and it's starting to get away from it now. Maybe this can be a kill. Ooh, oh, not no. yet. Just yeah, a little Jor bit too far from that. Jordan ball. needs to try to find that opening, get that kill so he can try to even up this game again. Because right now he's he's heavily falling behind in percent. He's already at 87. That could just already be a yeah. like the kill range. This for is already Ryu. a kill percent, especially exactly. with all this rage since he's having a hard time killing him right now. Hopefully he can get a banana down air going Ooh. for it. But oh, oh very we got smart. Wow, yeah. that monkey flip. That was very smart play. Now Jordan very just smart. has to play just a little patiently, waiting out the invincibility. Oh, but this just it. might be it right here. DI. Good, Good DI. Mm -hmm. Jordan's Wait, still living monkey flip. Keep moving. Keep, keep, keep. Try catching that. Stay with away the, from me, there. Ryu. I got this banana in my hand. You need to. Oh, never mind. Oh, oh, and the up oh, the up B. Sorry. Are you here? 
just uh, a little bit unsafe on Brandon's shield at the end, getting a little bit antsy trying to make that comeback, and Brandon just raiding his shield for that unsafe yeah. there. I mean, you got you got to be fully aware like of that situation. If like you're if you're at a kill percent and you know like what kind of gimmick a, a character has, especially an out of shield option against Ryu, you have to be aware of that and never do something like t unsafe just like that. Like Nair on shield like may work on some characters, but Ryu you never want to do that, especially when it's just like the auto turnaround. Yeah. And if you're at kill percent, that's just a simple upbeat right there. Absolutely, but Jordan, you could see Jordan was just getting a, a little bit too lost, uh, like trying to build momentum for himself to make that comeback and yep. just overextended a little bit too hard, probably instantly regretted it uh, yep. after he, he did that unsafe there. So we're back onto another small stage here, and I don't think that's a bad, bad idea either. I don't know how well this stage plays actually for Diddy, because um, I do believe this was Jordan's choice, if yes. I'm correct. I have seen Jordan counterface that a lot against uh, the stage, a lot against people. I think yeah. he just likes the the smaller stage, so but Oh, Ooh, no, that's gonna... so unfortunate. Oh my God. He, had, he didn't... He accidentally fast fell off stage, not quite, just barely missing the, the ledge, and just gonna be losing his stock after having such a good lead against Blandon. Yeah, so right now, I mean, he could still bring this back, but Blandon already sitting at like 100% here, and uh, Jordan just has to find that kill. Um, ooh, what we got here? Yeah, absolutely. But He's yeah. definitely still in this, but it, it just hurts knowing that like this should be a lead for you right now, yeah. and instead you're having to claw your way uh, back into this game. So it's just it's unfortunate because he has to play this somewhat safe now, so he at least try to look for that one window. But it looks like he's really having difficulty doing it because again, with the size of this stage, it's just like with both characters, Diddy being real fast, but uh, Ryu not being too fast, but still can close in the distance and just, you know, wall him out with, like, uh, the uh, Hadouken and Hadouken EX. Oh, he catches his roll with an F smash. That That's kind of crazy. There we go. Now Jordan's starting to bring this game back just a little bit, slowly evening up the stocks, and now we just got to see where it continues from here. And you and we saw that Trainer Jordan SD'd his stock at, like, 20%, yep. but during that whole, uh, like, basically freebie that he gave him, Wendon was only able to get 40% on him before losing his own stock. He so. was, only, yeah, only able to push a little bit percent, but, you know, hey, whatever, Whatever you can do still counts. It just matters on like what uh, what can you do now to try to be able oh, to take the second one. Up the, the percents are already even again. Jordan, Jordan is playing this really well. Yeah, and so far, yeah. The percent, uh, percent lead has definitely caught up with both players here. Jordan trying to find a way to get himself back onto the stage here. This could Ball, be a hard punish, yeah. Very hard punish here. Good, good from uh, Trainer Jordan, knowing that that uh, Tatsu isn't like Ken's; it only has one yep. hit. And after excellent, he excellent DI from want. Jordan there, not like. Uh, and that—that's what I was talking about. He just mashes down something in your face. You think that most characters they Ooh, press a button on you? Oh, is this gonna be a kill right him. here? This could be it. Oh, Ooh, this is the two frame sure getting through the hit. Stage. Yep. At this point, it's a little scary. Oh, oh what's roll gonna happen? Is he gonna go for the roll? Oh, oh that that was really great. For Great read from Brandon. And this fireball is proving to be like really annoying for a trainer Jordan because yep. it's just stopping a lot of his banana throws. Even though the banana goes through it, it's not a trade you want because you're getting hit by that fireball and then, oh, Ooh, and it does like 20% for each one. It's absolutely crazy. Back here, not enough to kill just yet. Brandon doing the high upbeat, knowing that that banana was coming. This should be a kill. Oh no. Ooh, that was, that's a nice fireball right there. Oh, he tried to go for it. I'm pretty sure with Rage, I, I, I think, yeah, with the percent he's at, that would definitely killed. He tried reading that roll again, just like that second stop, but trying to draw the making. He tried, yeah, yeah definitely tried to call again. up something. Oh my god. Oh, that was kind of, he just crouched <laughs> under the... No, he didn't even crouch. Oh, yeah, he, he didn't even crouch. crouch. He, he didn't just even crouch. It just, it went right through him. He took a, a, a leisurely it, stroll under that fireball. It just grazed his hat. <laughs> <laughs> and so far, already, Jordan trying to bring this back, trying to find it. He's got to get a, get a nice combo right here. He's got to get his bread and butter. And he's and doing it as we're seeing it. This just might be right here. Trainer Jordan really wanting to bring this to a game three, throwing that just, banana up stage. Yep, just he has to keep a calm mind stay right here, and he, he, he can oh. bring this back. <laughs> oh no, his own, on his own banana. Yeah, you get into his own banana. Yeah, you that never want that to happen. But this, this could be a right banana here? down air or a read. Ooh. Oh, knowing that he's scared of the banana, he's throwing the shield. This is a really close game. And, oh, tried getting that reverse up B. 
Right now, I'm really liking the banana play, uh, how Jordan is doing this right now, especially with the Z drop. Because a lot of people just, you know, throw it straight down, which does work sometimes. But when you know a character, how, how they recover, it's like you always want to go for the Z drop because it's just a better option. Because how slow fa how slow falling it is, it just definitely catches people off guard. Absolutely. And that back here was just a couple of pixels off of missing out of Trainer Jordan. That definitely would have been the game. Brandon having the banana in hand right now, this could be scary. Right now, it's anyone's game. Just one good hit, and this just oh, might be it. This could be, oh, this break. Could be it. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Trainer Jordan getting the banana, the banana chip, but missing the punish, and he's stuck in shield. I know Brendan. Oh, oh that should be it. it. Great job from and Trainer Jordan. And you have to remember, he basically gave him a freebie at the beginning. He basically gave him, yes, he gave him a free stock. But Jordan bringing it back and saying, no, I'm not giving you that for free. I'm taking this round. Yeah, he gave him the free stock, but Trainer Jordan's making Brandon give him that free game. <laughs> yeah, making him give him that free game. And now he's just bringing it back. And now with both players, now e even score game three. Uh, hmm. Yeah, now we have to wonder about where um, where yeah. Brandon's going to take him. I wonder if he's going to take Oh, back to small battlefield. All right. Definitely made sense. It was a close game the the first game, so I'm sure Trainer Jordan's not too upset about this. But Brandon op opting to go with what worked uh, before, so yep, we're now definitely we not seeing a character switch from uh, either player. Now we just got to see how how this round plays out for both players and see whether or not they can counter adapt each other as well as possible. Absolutely, um, we're gonna hope that Trainer Jordan doesn't SD. Uh, yeah, right hopefully off the Jordan bat again. doesn't SD again in this one, and actually maybe even takes the win on Blend in here. That would be, and uh, that would actually, big. you know, yeah. that would be a big win for him. Absolutely, I'm and pretty sure that's that would be com uh, considered an upset. <laughs> I, would, I would think so. <laughs> both both players really taking their time. Uh, Trying to compose themselves because I know that that last game was an absolutely crazy ending. They oh, were just yeah, both that, barely that missing their their things for like for multiple seconds straight. All, both at last stock, last yep, hit. That was a great that was a great ending. And now we're going into the game three. Jordan and Brandon, who takes it and moves on to the next round. Absolutely, really excited Ooh, to see and how this one goes. It's the monkey flip. Yeah, I starting like it. off with the aggressive immediately. Trainer Jordan not wanting Brandon to have a chance to breathe after that last game, really trying to keep pushing his momentum, and it looks like that's what he's doing. Yep, he's got the momentum carrying on for him, and he's he's going through that momentum from that round. He won. He knows he can do this. He's looking for the kill. He might get it right here. Ooh, unfortunately, but now he's just trying to reset. Ooh, nice way bounce line. No, not one. another SD. Let's <laughs> like. see. Can can Blender confirm anything out of this? Oh, he predicted the. Finally reading yep, that. Yep. Predicted that the monkey flip. flip. Oh, Ooh. that was so good by Trainer Jordan. But he's oh, so no, living. Didn't Brandon live. with the good DI good living DI the and Ryu is just so heavy. That is so unfortunate. That was so such a good play by Trainer Jordan getting the, the double banana throw into the F smash. Just maybe if he charged it just a couple of like like half a second longer, it would have killed. And that should be dead. There we Absolutely go. great right parry there. on that on that nair. I know uh, I know Brandon and Ryu just in general likes to go for that landing or that approaching landing there a lot because it combos into down tilt into a lot more. Oh, that was a lovely parry coming from Brandon there, but nothing to confirm out of it. Jordan is just carrying this momentum, being aggressive right now. Absolutely, this is Jordan is playing this so well. It's like it's like it's uh, like a he, switch just turned on, and now he's like he's got all this momentum behind him, and he's just trying to keep that lead. And right now he's doing it excellently, resetting the neutral, keep throwing out the monkey flips. And the thing is, the monkey flip is that is it, it, monkey flip is one of those abilities that's just hard for people to keep track of because again, it's a fast ability, and you just don't know whether or not it's just like they're gonna go over you or directly on you or just like you know exactly. a lot of mix ups. Monkey there, flip. There's just so many mix ups, and it, uh, I'm seeing that Trainer Jordan is using that monkey flip, the hitbox version of it, to yeah, just beat through a lot of Ryu's aerials and his uh, his Hadoukens and fireballs. It's just hitting right through them and and hitting uh, Brandon and like his lag. Right. Uh, probably a misinput on that. Probably tried doing a fireball um, input and accidentally got for you. Misinput right here, but it's just a random show you, but Jordan unable to punish it because he's trying to bring out the banana peel, yeah, which is isn't the bad thing. Oh, is, what we got here? This is looking really good for Jordan, but he needs to take this stock right now before Brandon makes use of all this re rage. He could definitely like be at a scary percent if uh, Brandon gets a good. Oh, and there we go. The monkey there we go. Kill. That monkey flip doing it all, paying his taxes and everything. Jordan just needs one more stock, and this could be his uh, PR win on 
You have Landon here. And it's looking like he really wants this. Already 45% and climbing. He's about to lap him with still a oh. Great rollout. He got hit by that Hadouken, but that was definitely a scary scenario. Uh, maybe expecting that shield breaker to come out. And so just deciding to eat that Hadouken. Ooh, and he gets oh, the Shoryuken no. right now. It's so close. And that's why fighting Last... for you can be so scary. You think you're doing oh. so well, and then you just explode at 80, 90% out of nowhere. Oh. Brandon Jordan really going to have to, to like, not think about that one and, and oh no Mo unfortunate monkey foot to like not confirm anything and put himself in a bad situation already now at 54 percent and it just the co combos right now just like that monkey they're, flip just they're so both gone. messing up their combos because i guess they're just like they're trying to do something just to get this some could be confirm. huge from but oh, this might be it right here up that american air dodge but trainer jordan not oh, ready no, for jordan, it jordan has to be very careful right here <laughs> This is so tense. Oh it's no, that so, could oh be it, God. but getting the bad hit of the up air. Oh, this could be it. Oh, no. Not drop or not hitting that uh, uh, F strike. Jordan has to be careful here because his shield is very low right here. If, if Brandon plays this right, he can break that shield. They are both absolutely at kill percent. One banana smash attack. That oh, could be is it. This it. Oh, no. no, he's still alive. He's still Diddy alive. can't kill. Diddy's having issues, but oh, this, this could might be it right here. Jordan just needs on one good hit. This could be it. Doing a jump. Try doing a lot fading, of fading it out. He's got to be careful. No, no is this it? Oh, oh my god! Three chances. Trainer Jordan. So unfortunate. So unfortunate from Trainer Jordan. He was doing so good. He was doing so 